Hey friends, Penitent Worm here today, and I apologize for yesterday's abrupt video in regards to the state of the game. Uh, it was just a summary of today's video, but I figured that Destiny 2 does deserve a full conversation as to why it sucks. And I know that sounds ironic because I have a ton of hours and I'm going to put a ton of hours into it. I'm still going to continue to play it, but we I want to talk about basically why I think that it's in one of the worst spots it's been in in a long time. I would say this is probably the second worst spot it's ever been in since Destiny 2's launch, uh, at which point Bungie literally almost shut down Destiny. They just pulled the plug on it. Uh, but yeah, and basically it boils down to three things, and we talked about those yesterday. It's Bungie's lack of resources, lack of time, and lack of effort for Destiny 2. Now, I want to start out with, uh, you know, the, in my opinion, the easiest which is the lack of effort because this is just, this is just pitiful. Really. It's just pitiful that Bungie does not put in the effort into destiny too. Right. <clears throat> and the, 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 the lack of effort is shown primarily through the amount of reskins that we have in the game, the amount of stuff that they bring in as new content. That's not actually new. I mean, look at the, look at the seasonal weapons and the, uh, the, I guess, other seasonal weapons, the additional weapons this season, like they literally have two of the exact same sets of weapons. I mean, they're, they're even the same archetypes. No differences is the same as outlast. It's, it's model is the same. It's archetype is the same. Uh, rapacious appetite and, and um, what is it? Bug out bag. Same thing. You know, it's the same archetype it is the same, you know, um, uh, the same archetype, the same, same model. Uh, you know, they did switch it up with the archetype on last man standing slash, uh, until it comes or whatever the, the, the shotgun is. Cause they changed the, you know, they changed it from an aggressive to a, uh, uh, the fast firing one. God, I can't remember the name. I'm not trying to remember the names. That's not important right now, but they're still, they're all reskins. And this to me is really just a lack of effort. You know, they didn't, they, Bungie's not putting in the effort to make new weapons. Here, let me let me let me get this clear. I am okay with reckoning weapons coming back. I am 100% okay with with weapons returning. But when you return weapons to the game as like your your hey, here's this, here's all the new stuff we have like no no no. Like that's not okay. You know, if they had an entirely new set of weapons drop, I would be okay with that. If they brought the weapon reckons back cuz a weapon uh the reckoning weapons, try saying that 10 times fast are very very good and they kind of fit in here with the whole taken theme you know so i'm not i'm not opposed to them bringing them back but that's all they brought back you know and they've reskinned them and that's where i'm like okay like this is come on this is laziness is what it is this is literally just laziness this is lack of effort into your game that you you know at, at one point was your baby you know that you cared for and loved and treated so perfect you know, and now, and now, you know, you're just reskinning all kinds of content. And this isn't new just to this season. I mean, this is, this has been an ongoing thing. We made a video a couple weeks ago about reskin, revamp, renewed, reimagined, whatever, you know, talking all about Bungie's reissues basically. Okay. And so this is, it's nothing new, but we're getting to a point where now it's like, okay, like, dude, seriously, like all the weapons you brought this season, all of them are reskins of old weapons. Okay. And that's not okay. And the, the one time when I would say reskinning is okay is if it's a foundry weapon, you know, last perdition, uh, is a Suros, uh, Suros pulse rifle, you know, uh, yesteryear also a Suros pulse rifle. That's okay. If they look the same, cause it's foundry. It kind of makes sense that they're made like in a factory basically and because they're made a factory. They're going to look similar. Right. But you know, the reckoning weapons are not like they're not foundry weapons. Like, come on, Bungie, you need to do better. You need to put more effort into your stuff. Okay. More effort is what we need, you know? Uh, and, and not just on the front of, of, you know, weapons, but like, look at, look at new exotics too. I feel like, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like exotic armor pieces and exotic weapons kind of losing their touch over time. And I know that you can only have so again, so many ideas, but like whatever happened to, uh, you know, armor pieces like Mask of Bacchus, like, um, um, oh, what's the other one I'm thinking of? I'm sorry. I forgot it off the top of my head. Mask of Bacchus though, you know, totally changes the way you play, right? Uh, the, the, the Titan chess piece from this season, 
that's that's a good one you know that totally changes the way you play you know but like we're getting so many of these these exotics where it's like okay like here we'll buff this weapon like oh why you know why are hunters getting exotic gauntlets that you know buff their glaives why are warlocks getting oh here's a here's a buff to your to your trace rifle like it just it feels like a lack of effort like they're not even putting effort into making new exotics anymore and that's that is what is just like disheartening to me you know and exotic weapons kind of the same thing you know we have this 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 new auto rifle this season you know and and with uh with exotic weapons it's not as bad as exotic armors you know because again the exotic auto rifle this season it's it's pretty you know it's pretty good i mean it performs very well it's a kind of creative idea right you know uh we'll see vex caliber again kind of a creative idea um uh, i'm trying to think of other ones um what was last season's uh last season's exotic weapon i can't remember off the top of my head but oh uh verglass uh verglas cur vergla curve i can't remember how you say it something like that kind of creative but at the same time i don't know but you know especially with exotic armors like they just they're not putting the effort in like i want to see exotic armors that change the way you play you know we have all the basic armors we got those with d1 armamentarium carry an additional grenade you know we got that in d1 slash d2 uh at, at its launch you know uh crest of alpha loopy you know heal when you put a barricade down basic function you know why are we not getting really cool crazy stuff again like like uh like arbor warden this season is a fine example of, of what exotic should be it totally changes the way that you play right you play in a very specific way and then when you have your barricade like if you want to use it you have to use it in a different way like you can't just throw up a barricade you know you got to activate it land it throw the grenade blah 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 stuff like that and, and i think again props to bungie for that creative design but outside of that like we're seeing a substantial lack of effort you know all the reskins are just getting old they really are but with 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 reskins kind of out of the way that moves me into my next topic which of course is the lack of time right and the lack of time and we see this one primarily through the fact that we just don't have a lot of you know new stuff like obviously you know uh effort is is it play effort and time kind of play a big part in one another right and resources too effort time and resource they all play a part into into one another but for time or for effort you know the reskins are unreal but in terms of time like the lack of time that is show like it is evident to me most through the fact that bungie is just not keeping their like keeping up with the times you know how long was starfire protocol uh problematic you know, and I know, so, and it was, well, it was never problematic. No, it was problematic because it was a build that was so good. If you used anything else, you were hurting yourself. Okay. So it, it wasn't, it wasn't a good thing like that. Like, like Starfire Protocol's former, former build was not a good thing because if you were ever hurting yourself substantially because you're not using a certain build, that's when it becomes a problem. You know, it was like that for months, you know, and this isn't the, this isn't the first time we've seen several, you know, builds uh, or exotics and stuff like that that have just been on top for so long like like this season we have graviton lance which is a lot better i wouldn't say it's like s tier or broken by any means but how long is it going to be you know able to perform at pulse rifle at smg and at scout rifle ranges how long i don't know because bungie's lack of time for destiny 2 is is very very evident very plain we could be in a, a graviton uh graviton lance sorry meta for months or months and we don't know you know they're not putting the you know we're not getting the the patches you know and stuff in for time and of course like i said time can loop into effort you know maybe oh well you know we don't have enough time to cr create neat niche exotics blah 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 but really like i said i think that you know the the lack of time that bungie has for destiny 2 is really really evident in just the 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 very few patches that we get you know uh, i also think that mm, well, well we'll talk about that in a second we'll talk about resource in a second but yeah a lack of time it's it's they're putting more and more time towards other things namely marathon okay the lack of effort effort is is inexcusable in my opinion but the lack of time 
you know, is because, you know, if you have two dev teams working on two different games, they're going to split it 50 50. And it doesn't feel like that's a split right now. I think that it's probably more like 70 30, 70% working on Marathon, 30% working on Destiny. And look, I get it. I get it. You've been working on Destiny for more than a decade. It's boring. You want to do something else. Like Marathon, we want it to be this creative, blah, 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 blah. Whatever they're going to say about Marathon. Like, I get that. But at the same time, you have players who've been playing this game for 10 years who love it. I've been playing Destiny for 10 years. I love it. I'm not going to stop playing it. You know, that kind of effort or that kind of effort is what needs to be put forth. That kind of time is what needs to be put forth into Destiny. I think that the split should be 70% Destiny, 30% Marathon. Because Marathon hasn't even launched. You know, take your time, polish it up, make it really, really nice. Because we don't want another Destiny 1 or Destiny 2 incident with Marathon, right? Because that will, I think that Destiny was able to bounce back because it's such a unique game. It's not like a lot of other games. Marathon, how many, how many extraction shooters are there? There's tons of them. You know, if Marathon flops in the first couple months, it's done. So Bungie, take your time. You know, 30% of your staff or, or your, of your time, work on Marathon, fine tune it, you know, but keep the other 70 on Destiny. That Destiny is the staple. That's what's kept Bungie alive for years and years and years. And it feels like they're taking a gamble by focusing on this other game, you know, that is, who knows, who knows how it's going to do. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that's the, that's the time. That's the time aspect, the lack of time that Bungie has, you know, it's, it's, it's evident through just the, the very little contact that we have with it. Plus the, you know, the amount of exotics that are broken for however long, um, but moving on to the lack of resources. And this is the last thing that I want to talk about here. The lack of resources is primarily shown through, oh, I don't know, all of destiny, you know, they are lacking the resources and it's, it's not so much through destiny. It's the fact that marathon exists and their team is now split. That leads me to say it's lack of resources and lack of resources again, ties in with time and effort substantially lack of resources is, you know what, like we are lacking the creative resource to make better exotics. You know, we're lacking the, um, you know, the resource to have more people working on patches and stuff for destiny Two, which is why, you know, our Starfire protocol is, is existing the way it is for however long, but also a lack of resources, I think is also, you know, it's present in the, the, very poor state of the servers. I mean, even today, we made a, a short video earlier today. No surprise that Destiny was offline for a few hours. Come Thursday, same thing. It's going to be down for a few hours. <sighs> Who knows why? But it is. It's because lack of resource, a lack of resources to invest into the server stability or, you know, whatever it is. You know, and I know the, the whole engine, you know, it's difficult to upgrade an engine, if not impossible. You know, a whole game is built on an engine in order to upgrade the engine. You got to basically rebuild the game, blah, blah, blah. But like the servers, like, come on, Bungie, you know, and they even said, they even said that, that, that marathon is going to have dedicated servers. Ah! You Bungie are bold for making that statement. The Bungie is so bold for making that statement because how many players play crucible? How many players love crucible and have been asking for de dedicated servers for years? That is a slap in the face. That is a slap in the face to players, to PVP players to say, Hey, you know what? We're going to do dedicated servers in our new game for a premium PVP experience. Let me tell you something, guys, if you're new to destiny two, or you haven't played, or you didn't play back in D one, or maybe even early D two days uh, or not early, but like post forsaken D two kind of era, PVP was fun. Okay. It still is technically fun, but I think there's a lot of just ugh, like, you know, over shields, restoration, like all these buffs and debuffs are going around like crazy. Plus the ability span was really high, but back in the day, PVP was really, really fun. Again, post post the go fast updates, you know, post uh, forsaken, like not early D2. That was, that was miserable. <clears throat> We're not gonna talk about that though. Um, but yeah, it was so much fun. You know, and then to hear Bungie say, oh, you know, we're going to have dedicated servers for a premium PvP experience. Like, what happened? Like, why are we not striving for a premium PvP experience in Destiny 2? I don't know. You know, is this is this a lack of resources? Is it lack of effort? I don't think it's a lack of effort so much as it is a lack of resources. You know, they only have X amount of dedicated servers. Why not dedicate those servers to Destiny 2? 
until Marathon launches and, and people can get a taste for the state of Marathon at post-launch. Because here's the thing, I'm not going to buy Marathon as soon as it launches. I'm, I have stopped doing that. I stopped doing that years ago. I don't buy games. You know, I don't do pre-orders except for Destiny because I know that I'm going to invest time in Destiny. You know, I pre-ordered Lightfall, the Deluxe or whatever edition. But, you know, uh, Starfield coming out soon. <clears throat> not to get off topic here, but Starfield, I'm not, I'm not going to buy Starfield until after I've seen in-game reviews. You know, people who played for a couple of weeks because so many games are launching in very poor states. You know, that I you spent drop a hundred dollars. Wow, I'm so excited for this game. Like, I'm so excited for, for example, Marathon. Oh, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be wonderful. And then it turns out to suck, and you just dropped a hundred dollars for a game that you're not gonna play, and you don't decide to touch. And yeah, like maybe in a few months or a few years, they tune it up and make it better, but it's like at that point, what's what's the point? Really, what's the point? But you know, the lack of resources is is killing destiny just as much as the lack of time and lack of effort. And that's why I think that destiny sucks. And I'm not afraid to say it. Like it's, it's, it's my favorite game that I hate, right? Everybody's heard the memes, you know, destiny two players have a love hate relationship with destiny. I love destiny. Okay. I am 100% behind it. I don't like the way that it is being treated currently by Bungie. And that's, that's the important thing to remember. Like I love destiny. I hate the state that it's currently in, but I love it. The story is really cool like the whole you know the the whole idea of the dark and the lightness uh, the darkness and the light saga fantastic you know the gameplay is really fun the the idea of build crafting they've started introducing kind of more recently um oh sorry uh i think my computer's had a little heart attack um it's all fun you know but the way Bungie is treating Destiny 2 right now is is leading it down an unfun path, you know? And I don't want to see that happen to my favorite game. Destiny is my favorite game. Like, I have a lot of close seconds, but Destiny always takes the cake. If I ever want to have fun playing games, I can, do it, I can do it in Destiny. You know, yeah, I play Call of Duty every now and then, you know? I can play it for an hour and that's it. Same thing with Minecraft, you know? I can play Minecraft every now and then, you know, hop on and you know, build some cool freaking structure or dig a mine or something like that, or make a freaking Enderman farm. I don't know. Just something like that. But at the end of the day, I get bored doing it. Not with destiny though. I don't really get bored. I don't find myself getting bored with destiny, but because of Bungie's lack of time, effort, and resources, I find myself getting bored with destiny and I don't like it because I am so familiar with destiny and i don't know what we're gonna do what most of us are gonna do what most of us hardcore players are gonna do when destiny's gone like the casual player's not gonna care of course they're not you know but the casual you know the casual player is gonna move on to marathon blah, blah 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 but like the hardcore player like you and me what are we gonna do when destiny's gone you know and i know all good things have to come to an end I'm okay with that. You know, post light and darkness saga, uh, post, uh, what is it? Final shape. I wouldn't be surprised if Bungie gives it an update every six months, maybe even a, a, a small, uh, an update every year. You know, I think that's after final shape, destiny's done for, I think Bungie's done with destiny after the final shape, which sucks because really it's like I said, it's a fantastic game, but you know, we can't make the choices for Bungie. That's them. If marathon fails or something bad happens to marathon, whatever you want to call it, that's on Bungie, you know, it is, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Um, let me know your thoughts. You know, how do you feel about Bungie's lack of time, effort and resources in destiny Two? Um, how do you feel about my thoughts on it? Um, yeah, that's it. If you like the video, drop a like, it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe for more daily destiny content and do me a favor. Watch the video you see on the end screen now, because for whatever reason, YouTube thinks you will like it. That's it from you guys. And I will, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.